What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here, and as I just finished my uh, quickest, fastest <laughs> Revit 2019 free online course, I thought it would be an interesting idea or a topic to kind of expand on Revit a bit and show you some of the more complex uh, options in Revit. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to model a, uh, a basic uh, concrete construction in Revit. So maybe you can get, get add some construction elements to your uh, simple uh, building. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to download this, uh, complete construction file uh, you, or any of my previous Revit models, you can check out my Patreon, first a link in the description. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so for this you can either use the structural template or you can use the architectural template, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to choose the structural one because it, it gives you just some presets that can be useful. So if I open it up like this and uh, if you go you can see you've got your uh, levels and if you go, go to south elevation yeah so you've got some uh, analysis levels it's not really something that i'm going to be using in this tutorial uh, but it's just uh, good to know you have those and we've got this analytical model and i'm just going to be showing you that a bit later on so let's go first to maybe level one and let's create a grid for our uh, simple building. So for that, just go here to grid, or you can use the shortcut GR is the shortcut for grid, and then maybe just do one line like so, and then uh, you can just use the offset. So again, I'm just going to type in GR for grid, uh, use the offset tool, give it an offset of like, I don't know, uh, 6,000 millimeters or six meters. So just go like that, and let's make something simple like so, then go again, GR for grid, and do one like this, and then again, use pick lines. But before that, I'm just going to rename this from five to A, and once I do that, when I go GR and pick lines, and again, 6,000, and when I go like this, as you can see now, it's going to continue on ABC. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and then ABC. And uh, as working in millimeters is really annoying when you're working in like uh, construction, uh, out with construction elements, I'm just going to type in UN and change the units to meters and give it to decimal places so we can uh, just see uh, the dimensions uh, or just input them a bit easier. Then I'm just going to select this, uh, get this ring, bring it in a bit uh, just to make everything uh, a bit better. And let's select everything and center it over here. Yeah, maybe that, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so once we've got this grid system, uh, now it's time to start adding elements. But before that, I'm just going to go here to South Elevation and add one more element. So I'm going to drop this a bit, uh, drop this up a bit. And yeah, let's add another level. So LL is the shortcut for that. And yeah, let's do it four meters as well. So this is level three. And then I'm going to do one more over here at, I don't know, something like, yeah, let's do 2.5, and this won't be a level 4, this is uh, level 0, so this is like the foundation. Okay, so once we have this, now we have all the necessary infrastructure, so we can continue uh, or start modeling our uh, construction. So go to level 1, and here uh, you can go to structure and uh, create a structural wall. So for the structural wall, uh, let's go with something like a generic 300 millimeter, and this is for our structural core. Uh, so I'm just going to go here with a rectangle and then select one of these uh, quadrants, and let's go with here, and go from here to here. Now I'm just going to hover over one of them, hit the tab key, select all of them, and then uh, base constraint should be at zero, and the top constraint should be at level three. Okay, so once we have that, let's go into 3D. Yeah, this is what we want. And as you can see, this is that uh, analytical uh, file. So uh, if you go to analytical mo mode, you can see this is just a graphical representation of the an analytical model. So this is just calculating uh, the your, your walls as far as uh, just structural elements go. Okay, let's go back into level one and let's add some columns. So go here to structural column and uh, let's just load in a family because we only got this steel columns and I want to use uh, some concrete ones. So I'm just going to scroll down to structural columns, uh, go with concrete and we've got square concrete, open that up. Okay, and let's choose this one 300 by 300 as this is a small uh, building and let's give it a height to level three. And then uh, just 
but one at each intersection of these grids or you can use at the grids and then select like this and go finish and as you can see now it placed them all the, all the way there okay so now if I go into 3d as you can see these don't really go up to uh, up to foundation so I can select it like this go to filter uh, check none go with structural columns apply okay and then uh, move them to level zero as well okay and as you can see now they go all the way up to foundation okay so once we have this let's add our structural beams so for beams uh, you go back into level one and uh, let's go so we go here to beam and again we only have a steel okay no we've got some concrete beams yeah that's why I chose the the template the structural template because you've got some preloaded elements so just go with the beam and then uh, you're going to have these like uh, structural beams going one direction and then you're going to have not one direction the band one direction and just going to go in one direction and then we're going to have some structural uh, uh, structural uh, beam system going in another direction so maybe go from here from this point all the way to this column then you go from this column all the way to this column and here add one like this okay so once we have this let's go into 3d yeah I really like the way this is turning out so now I'm just going to select all of these three uh, go here to copy paste align to selected levels and go to level two and three hit OK and there you go so now this is at all levels now sometimes you're going to have them at foundation sometimes not depends on your foundation system so for now on I'm just going to leave it without beams uh, but if your project uh, requires them just add beams and if I go here to the analytical model you can see uh, we're already getting an analytical model for this over here so it's just connecting all of the beams and later on you can send this to somebody doing uh, calculations in robot or something and they can use this model okay let's go back into level one and let's just add that beam system to kind of complete the whole look and for that just go here to uh, structure go to beam system and here we've got automatic beam system or beam system by sketch I'm just going to choose by sketch but first uh, when you open this up you can see we've got some uh, the beam type and if we open this up we only have those that are offered uh, as beams but these don't work for our model they're too they're too big so let's go to structure go to beam and go into edit type and here just duplicate it and let's just call it I don't know 400 by 150 by 400 let's say that works so hit OK and change this to 0.15 and this to 0.4 okay so once we have this hit OK so we've got this smaller beam and now good structure a beam system a sketch beam system and then uh, go with either pick lines or you can use rectangles I'm just going to go with pick lines go from this grid to this endpoint over here, to this endpoint, to this endpoint, and just all the way around this wall, but uh, just move it to grids so those uh, structural elements align. Okay, so now just trim and extend. So trim and extend this, this here, this here, this here, and this here, and I move this to the outside of the wall and if you can't uh, adjust it just go a l for a line and yeah do it like that okay and this line over here that has these two lines on top on and on bottom uh, that means that's the beam direction but we actually want the beam direction to be going vertically so just go here to beam direction and place one a line uh, like this okay so just go finish and this is what you get so uh, it now it's uh, the wrong beam uh, type as you can see these beams are quite thick so let's scroll down over here and for the beam type let's change it to the new smaller one we have and now they're smaller so if we go into 3d this is what we get so you can see these are a lot smaller than our uh, big beams going in that uh, direction so if we look like this yeah this actually looks quite all right and if we go to the analytical model yeah this is what our analytical model looks like so you can uh, go into 3d uh, hit tab a couple of times select the whole beam system and uh, just go here to copy paste align to selected levels and uh, align them to levels two and three 
and there you go. And let's just add some foundation elements just for the fun of it. So, and uh, before that, let's turn this into a hidden line just to see the better and maybe add some shadows. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay, so let's just add the foundation. So go to isolated foundation and yeah, let's work with this one. So you're just going to go to uh, level zero and yeah, let's go to level zero. Yeah, this is going to be a bit easier to place it here and then you place it at all of the intersections. So you go just like that. Okay, I think I missed over here. Yeah, let's delete that one. So let's place it here, here, and here. And uh, for our structural core, uh, let's go with our wall foundation, go select multiple, and then, oops, let's go back, <laughs> sorry about this. Wall, okay, I can work with, uh, with the bearing wall, yeah. And let's select the, okay, this works. And there you go, so just go all the way around and you place this foundation. Okay, and if we go down, this is where our foundation lies. And if we go to the analytical model, this is how that thing looks like. So you can send this to your structural engineers and they can calculate this building construction. Okay, so this is cool. I, I think you have learned something new about these uh, structural uh, systems and uh, structural elements in Revit. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, a like, and share this video. And if you want to download this model, check out my Patreon. First link in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.